Welcome to the Galveston College Library presentation of Primary Sources. The objective of this webinar is to help you learn the differences between primary and secondary sources. So what is a primary source? A primary source is a first-hand account of an event or time period. This is a specific event or time period, not a range or a general era. A primary source can also be results from experiments or research. Finally, a primary source must be factual and not interpretive. Some examples of primary sources are plays, newspaper articles from the time period, songs, letters, postcards, diaries, journals, maps, works of art, and magazine accounts from the time period. So if primary sources are first-hand accounts, you can probably guess that secondary sources will be second-hand accounts. However, secondary sources can also be interpretations or analysis of primary sources. Examples of this are analysis of scientific experiments, biographies, interpretive newspaper articles, book reviews, and literary criticisms. Now that we have gone through the basic differences between primary and secondary sources, let's watch this video explaining a more in-depth look at primary and secondary sources. When writing an academic essay or research paper, you have to gather information and evidence from a variety of sources. Primary sources provide raw information and first-hand evidence, whereas secondary sources provide second-hand information and commentary from other researchers. Want to learn more about the differences and understand when to use which? Then keep watching. Hi, I'm Jessica from Scribber, here to help you achieve your academic goals. A primary source is anything that gives you direct evidence about the people, events, or phenomena that you're researching. They will usually be the main objects of your analysis. The form of primary sources depends on the subject you're studying. In history, primary sources are essential for learning about the events of the past. They can be anything produced at the time such as letters, photographs, newspapers, and official records. In art and literature, your primary sources are the artistic works you're analyzing, for example, poems, paintings, or films. And in the social sciences, primary sources are usually empirical studies or data that you collected yourself, anything from interview transcripts to social media posts. For example, Say I'm writing an essay about political communication, and I want to analyze Barack Obama's election victory speech. Yes, we can. If I quote Obama directly in my paper, the video or transcript of the speech is the primary source. Check out our article here for more examples. But then what is a secondary source? A secondary source is anything that describes, interprets, evaluates, or analyzes information from primary sources. In a paper or essay, most of your secondary sources will be academic books or journal articles, but they might also include encyclopedias and textbooks that summarize information, reviews and essays that evaluate or interpret primary sources, or news stories or documentaries that report on your topic. When you cite a secondary source, it's usually not to analyze it directly. Instead, you'll probably test its arguments against new evidence or use its ideas to help formulate your own. For example, in my political communication paper, if I cite an academic article that also analyzed Obama's speeches, then I'm using a secondary source. I can also use secondary sources to focus on other famous political speeches to gain a better understanding of the topic and how other researchers have approached it. Most papers should use both primary and secondary sources. They complement each other and help you build a convincing argument. Primary sources make your work more original and credible, while secondary sources show how your work relates to existing research. 
Secondary sources often bring together a large number of primary sources that would be difficult and time-consuming to gather by yourself. So they're important to help you gain a full understanding of your topic. Use primary sources when you want to make new discoveries, provide your own original analysis, or give direct evidence for your arguments. Use secondary sources when you want to provide background information on a topic, support or contrast your arguments with other researchers' ideas, or use information from primary sources that you can access directly, for example, private letters or physical documents located elsewhere. Now, no matter which kind of sources you've used, make sure to cite correctly. It's super easy with Scribner Citation Generator. If you're not sure how to do in-text citations, check out this video here. I'll see you there. Now I'm going to take a few minutes to point out a few resources via our Galveston College Library website that will be helpful in navigating the waters of primary and secondary sources. Remember, you can access these databases and resources from your phone, tablet, or computer at home. At this point, I'm going to show you three things. First, I'm going to show you how to access the Galveston College Library page from the Galveston College website. Then, I am going to show you how to find databases that are centered around primary sources. And then lastly, I will show you our research tutorial guide to help give you additional reference when creating your paper. From the Galveston College homepage, you will scroll down and you will find the link to the library. This will bring you to our library homepage. On the right hand side, you will see a box that says Quick Links. Under there is an A to Z database. You can search these different databases by subject or type. If you click on Database Type and you select Primary Sources, this will give you a list of all the primary source databases that we have in our collection. Furthermore, once you select primary sources, you can limit it further by selecting a subject matter. So from here, I will just go ahead and select history for this example. As you can see, our database selection has gone down from 36 to 7 which will help you narrow down your search and usage of our databases. So now that we know how to navigate the A to Z database list, let's go back to the library homepage. You can do this by selecting the home icon in the top left hand corner. The next thing we are going to look at is located under our help and research guides. And we are going to go ahead and select research guides. Next, we are going to make sure that our filter is on all guides. And then we are going to scroll down and select the research tutorial guide. This guide will help take you step by step in brainstorming and starting your research paper. If you select step three and then select primary, secondary and background resources tab, this is the area in which you should make note of, as it has much of the information we have covered in this webinar. It also makes a nice reference point if you are like me and need to read over information several times. Thank you for watching the Galveston College Library video on primary sources, and have a great day.